Welcome back to This Week in Rideshare and Food Delivery News. My name is Cecily Jamela, and here are this week's headlines. Bank of America freezes over 300,000 EDD debit cards due to fraud. Judge rules Uber can push Pro Prop 22 messages. Uber Eats faces a lawsuit after offering free delivery for black restaurants. And other news, it's This Week in Rideshare News. Over 350,000 unemployment debit cards were frozen due to suspected fraud this week. Investors suspect a massive operation because the victims' ATM cards were duplicated and printed and used at ATMs across California. PIN numbers are also for sale on the dark web. One victim complained that Bank of America is using the magnetic stripped old technology instead of the chip that most cards use today. By having the chip, you have your information on the card encrypted in the chip, and that makes it much more difficult for people to duplicate your card. EDD says that anyone who has had their account frozen and hasn't heard from EDD should contact Bank of America directly. A California State Superior Court judge rejected the driver's request for a temporary restraining order blocking the messages which drivers claim is pressuring them to support the ballot measure Prop 22. The judge also dismissed the driver's allegations of political coercion, stating that there wasn't any evidence of an Uber driver being punished for not supporting Prop 22. Drivers in Southern California, hey hi. There's a lot of activity on the Postmates app as of late, so if you are looking for another delivery company to partner with and live in the following markets, there might be an opportunity for you to make some money here. Uh, that would include Long Beach, Los Angeles, Orange County, San Diego, Palmdale, San Bernardino, Victorville, and Phoenix, Arizona. The link is in the description below. Uber Eats faces discrimination over free delivery from Black-owned restaurants. The lawsuit states, and I quote, in June 2020, Uber Eats announced that it would be eliminating delivery fees for most Black-owned restaurants for the remainder of 2020, but Uber is still charging delivery fees for most other restaurants, including Hispanic, Thai, Chinese, Korean, and Indian-owned restaurants. Charging different prices based on the race of the business owner you choose to buy from may be a violation of California and federal anti-discrimination laws, including the Unruh Civil Rights Act and the Federal Civil Rights Act of 1866. More information about this lawsuit is in the description. And now for my favorite segment, what would you do? I found this on Facebook. Apparently people think that we are a U-Haul and can help them move. Even if I was driving an XL vehicle, I wouldn't take the ride. That's fair. When I read the comments, I saw that this was common. And one guy said that he was a driver in, in San Francisco, that he drove an XL car and that he gets this all the time. He said it's not worth the money. And unfortunately, a lot of people just don't have the money to rent a U-Haul. Coronavirus has devastated the Bay Area and other places in the country, obviously, as well. So this is why this is happening. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it sucks. But um, with that being said, what is the weirdest or most awkward or funniest thing that someone has asked for you to carry in your car? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Cool earrings, right? <laughs> Hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, the election is only days away. If you haven't voted already, what are you waiting for? Don't forget to do that. I'm wishing you all good health. Even the trolls, good health and prosperity to you all. Uh, have a good weekend, guys. Bye.